Good morning. This is Catherine Dubberly, the answer lady. I just changed the number strips on my artisan knitting machine, so now it's time to change the sponge bar. Let's see how that is done. My pencil is pointing to the sponge bar channel and I've slid it in a little bit. Usually you've got to poke something sturdy but slim into this channel on both beds to bring the sponge bar starting out the other end so that you can get a hold of it. Okay, here are my two sponge bars poking out where I started them from the other end. Now I'm just going to pull. Let's look at the condition of this sponge bar and compare it to the new one. And you can see why it might be a good idea to change. The purpose of the sponge bar is to hold the needles down and keep them from bouncing up as they would do if the sponge bar was too flimsy and as I'm making them do here. If they bounce up, they will catch on the carriage and they can cause all kinds of problems from drop stitches to jams. So here I'm inserting the new one, making sure that the needles are pressed down. The metal portion goes up, the sponge goes towards the needles. This is not totally universal, so you need to be certain that your machine works this way, but this is very typical of Japanese style machines. Passips have a whole different setup. Now this sponge bar is going to bump into my camera, so I'm going to have to stop showing you, but it works the same as the other. Here we go. Now I can get it out. This one is also in bad shape. It's actually worse than the other, which is typical. We're looking at the main bed now, and it typically gets used a bit more than the river bed, thus more wear and tear. Let's try to position this so it go back in. Removing the sponge bar is also what you would need to do to change a needle. And in we go. Now the needles, when I push them up and down, they feel much, much firmer. Once you have a good sponge bar in, you'll probably find that you need less weight to knit with than you were needing to keep the stitches behaving before. This machine, in case you're interested, is an artisan mid-gauge. It's between 10 and 15 years old, I think. It was from the second batch that were imported. And I have enjoyed it very much. I have found it a real workhorse. It's a simple, basic machine, but it does what it's supposed to do. It knits double knit and sport weight yarn, ideally. And, of course, the range is wider than that, but those are what I like to knit on it best. And I really like it. So it's nice to have it back looking fresh. In the next video, I'm going to work on the discolorations on the bed. Join me there.